how to create a count flow field in Business Central using the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, sometimes you might need to show a user how many there is of a thing. Uh, and that can be accomplished by creating a flow field. So a flow field is a field that you see in the UI, uh, it's on the page and, and you can click on it and everything, but it's not in the database. The flow field will calculate on the fly a value. And, and one of the types of flow fields that we can create is a flow field that will count something. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can do that. Um, and um, here's a simple object designer. I just um, started a blank app. And I think what I want to do uh, in, in this video is uh, on, the, on the customer, I would like to have a, um, a field that will show me how many jobs uh, do I have on this customer, um, a counter. And um, I can do that by creating a flow field with the simple object designer. So I will create a new field. This is blank, so I'll create a new one and, and let me find the customer table. That's number 18, there we go. Uh, and we can call the field job count. And I want this field to be a flow field, uh, job count. And let's just put it on a page right away. Let's put it on the customer card as the, the last field in the, uh, in the general section. How about that? Um, so now we have a field, but we're kind of missing one thing. We need to tell how and what we should count. Uh, and we do that in field settings. And we can see that because this is a flow field now, I have two different sections here at the bottom. So the first one, you define the flow field, and the second one, you define the filter that describes what records to count. Um, so the first thing I want to do is that I'm, I'll tell this that, hey, we're counting something. And I want to count jobs. So I find the job table. Because this is a count, we don't care about a specific field because we're, we're just gonna count the records. We're not counting a specific field on the records. That would be a sum. Uh, and this is not a video on that one. Um, so now I need to, if I, if, if I just deployed this now, I would get a count on every single customer showing the total number of jobs we have in the system. That might not be what, what I want. Maybe I want to tell that um, the bill to customer number on a job should be linked to my customer number. And, and, and creating, creating flow field filters, you have three options. You can say that you are, you're gonna link to a field from where you came from. So I came from customer, uh, uh, so that's what we want to do here. We can also, if 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 we want to set a set use a, a a constant value for 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 filter, like saying that if it's a specific type, so it has to be open, close, released, uh, uh, purchase order, what it, something, uh, or we can specify a filter saying this to this dot dot something. Uh, pipe and all that, then you provide a fill up. In this case, I just want to link it to a field. Uh, so I, I do that. And then I need to move myself up here for a second because I need to tell what field I'm linking it to on the customer table because that's where we're creating it. So I am linking it to the number field. So I want to count all the jobs that has a bill to customer number uh, that matches the customer I'm on. Um, maybe I also want to actually, um, maybe we should con consider status. Maybe it's not all jobs I want. Maybe I want to, and then now I'm gonna use a const. Uh, let me just put myself down the corner again where I belong. Uh, and, and then I can, oops, here, let me select a const. Say I want all that are open. Uh, so count all the jobs that are on this customer and they open. 
So we have created the definition. We created the field. We have placed on a page. So the only thing missing now is to actually publish it. And, and now, as soon as I click publish, multiple things happen. Uh, the first thing that flashes by with all sorts of weird messages uh, is the simple object designer now writing the AL code for this field and, and for the page and, and whatever is, is needed. So all the things you have to find with the simple object designer is now being converted or is the basis for writing code. Just like I would write the code if you ask me to, hey Eric, can you create some field for me that'll count the job? I write the code. The simple object designer is doing the same thing. Then when it's done writing the code, it builds an app, it compiles the code, builds an app uh, file uh, with it, and then two things happen. The first is that uh, you can see we got a download, so it downloads the app file, so you can now take the downloaded app file and go to your production environment and upload that in extension management and deploy it, just like if you got an app from your partner created or something. The other thing that happens, because I answered yes, is that we are now also deploying this app to this environment, and while I was chattering away, that already happened. So the app is already deployed to this environment, so the only thing left for us to do is to go to a customer card and see that job count one. And let's go to another customer, job count one. Let's go to another job a customer, job count one, and go to one, and this one is zero, and I don't know if there's jobs on the last customer in this database. Let's go back to one of them with a one, and we can see that by uh, the way that a flow field should work is that it's actually a link. So now I can click on it, and it will show you all the one that it's counted. Well, the one it's counted, we can see that this is built to exactly the customer we were looking at. If we go to the second one and click that, we can see that we get the one that is is build to that one. So if we go and create a new job, um, and I select, uh, let's select tray. And uh, I think, our, didn't our, I think our uh, flow field set status open, right? So let's close this one. And we can see that now there's two here. So if I go back, job count is two. Um, so we created a flow field that will calculate a number of, of records. Uh, that is how you do that. Um, there's a link below. If you want to know more about the, the simple object designer, um, click on that and I will see you in other videos or go check it out. Thank you for watching. Bye.